meditation the second birth certainly meditation is initiation into your innerness indeed the second birth becomes possible only through meditation when you enter into the depths of meditation the second birth becomes possible the first birth comes when you are born into the world meditation gives you another birth it is the beginning of your inward journey this is what is called the second birth man is a potentiality and a possibility he is the potentiality to be a buddha we can miss it millions go on missing it and the reason why we miss it is very simple we think we have already attained life we make life synonymous with birth when we take birth we consider that this is now synonymous with life and that is the fundamental misunderstanding birth is only an opportunity to be alive birth certainly is not synonymous with life one can live a very non alive life and then one can go on track or one can go on moving through life in deep sleep or one can be a somnambulist a sleep walker in fact that is how man is reduced into a machine man is not alive as yet has not yet been touched by god has not allowed god to touch him and has not been available to god hence we carry great seeds which can become trees and can blossom and a great fragrance can be released into existence we can beautify existence we can be a grace and blessing to the existence but that rarely happens only once in a while there is a jesus a buddha a jarathrust who attains to his potentiality but millions and millions of people are born and die without living at all to be a seeker on the path requires you to be aware of this basic misunderstanding once you are aware you start seeking and searching for the second birth certainly and the second birth becomes possible only through meditation therefore in ancient scriptures meditation is called the real mother because it gives birth to you jesus says to his disciple unless you are born again you will not enter into my kingdom of god in the east the person who has attained to god is called dwij twice born the second birth releases the fragrance and by meditation i do not mean concentration concentration is of the mind it has its own utility certainly it is needed in scientific work in accumulating knowledge and things like these it is useful and i am not against concentration but everything has to be put in its right perspective however you must be aware of its limitations it cannot take you beyond the mind because it is a mind effort meditation is not contemplation either contemplation is a little higher than concentration 
if concentration is at the very center of the mind, contemplation is at the very circumference of the mind. It is somewhat more subtle. It has to be more artful and intelligent to be contemplated. Concentration is crude. It is needed by the beginner. In the schools, colleges and universities, you need concentration. However, when one has become capable of concentrating, one starts moving towards contemplation. Contemplation means an effortless awareness. Concentration on the other hand requires great effort. It is almost forced and violent. Contemplation is non-violent, more fluid, less enforced, yet more relaxed. But meditation is a still higher than the two. It goes beyond the mind. Meditation is a state of no mind. Meditation is neither at the center of the mind nor at the circumference. It, because meditation is not of the mind. Indeed, meditation is watching the mind from outside. Meditation is watching the mind from outside. That is exactly the meaning of the English word ecstasy, to stand out. To stand out of the mind is ecstasy. And exactly that is what meditation is all about. Just be a watcher from the outside. No more participation. No more participant, no more identification with the mind. It is just as one watches the traffic on the road, sitting silently by the side under a tree. In that case, it does not matter who is passing. One simply watches whatsoever is happening with no likes, dislikes, justifications, condemnation or any prejudice at all. This is what meditation is all about. You are watching what is going on within without any likes, dislikes, justification, condemnation or anything. When one can watch the mind without condemning, and appreciating without judging as good or bad. This I do not want or that I want. Without uttering a single sentence about the mind, when one can watch it in deep silence, know that is meditation. A miracle happens with meditation. And it happens only with meditation. When you are simply standing out, not participating, no longer active in any way, utterly inactive and silent, the mind disappears. Then slowly and slowly, it goes farther and farther away. Slowly and slowly you hear only noises coming from a distance and suddenly a moment comes when there is no mind. It has faded out completely or it has withered away. And when the mind is not there and you are left alone without the mind, Fragrance and beauty is released. You have come home. You have become fulfilled. The thousand petal lotus of your being has opened. You have offered your fragrance to existence. 
and offering your fragrance to existence is pray. Offering of your fragrance to existence is prayer. This is the only way, gift we can give to God and that is the only gift that can be accepted by God.